um, how you could replicate playing some bunker shots even though we might be hitting balls um, off a mat into a net obviously word of warning if you're going to make big swings trying to hit bunker shots a good chance you're going to hit it higher so it may well flip over the top of the uh, of your net so be careful so a great visual when we're setting up to hit bunker shots is to imagine you've got a chair behind you okay and you're going to lower yourself sort of down into the chair now the first thing you'll see is how the stance gets much wider when you're hitting a bunker shot it really will be the widest stance of all the shots you're going to play i think that's super important also if you can imagine sort of propping yourself in a chair your shoulders would be really level with the ground you've got to be so careful on a bunker shot you don't get any tilt to the right if we're tilted to the right we're running the wrist end of that club touching down too far behind the golf ball so wider stance is good the shoulders more level with the ground and again if we were sort of propped up into a chair here the shaft and my hands would be simply in the center of the body you've got to be careful we don't get the handle shoved much too far forward these are common errors that we see many club golfers making open the face just a little bit a little pressure on the left side and don't forget to just lower the hands just a little bit with a little bit more knee flex and really from there i'm pretty much ready to go and we can make a motion where i can feel that the back edge the bounce of the club is just skimming the ground a little before the ball so let's go wider in the stance let's make sure the shoulders stay nice and level weight slightly forward the hands and the club shaft in the center of the body handle a little bit lower and then from there we just play a little shot just a one and a two again that's not a sort of full tilt just to watch the speed i'm just feeling that the club is just skimming the ground a couple of inches underneath that golf ball so get the visual of there's a chair behind you and just going to sit into that little more knee flex wider stance level shoulders hands and shaft more centered really key movements to making sure we can play this bunker shot a little bit better